Though many may believe that the human race is completely out of the food chain with no predators of any kind given our incredible advancements in manipulating the environment around us, that assumption is far from the truth. In fact, more than 3 million people die from vaccine-preventable diseases every single year, and more than 1.5 million of these deaths are found in children less than 5 years old. With this knowledge in hand, it is easy to see how viruses are the number one killer of the human race, and have been for a tremendously large amount of human history. Though recent advancements in medicine and research have helped to slow these effects and reduce these numbers, there are still a wide variety of dangerous viruses all around the world nearly impossible to stop. So today, at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over these incredibly dangerous viruses as we cover the six most deadly viruses from around the world. The polio virus. Due to the recent movement referred to as the anti-vaccination movement, which consists of a wide variety of parents and other individuals of whom have advocated against the use of vaccines to prevent many childhood illnesses and fatal diseases, there has been a recent comeback in diseases long since believed to have been completely eradicated from society. One of these many diseases is the polio virus, which was originally eradicated back in 1999 after mandatory vaccines across the world in many developed countries has sprung up once more and caused a variety of recurring symptoms as well as new ones from the evolved virus. These symptoms begin pretty mildly, with the people only reporting to have mundane illnesses such as a sore throat, fever, tiredness, nausea, headache and minor stomach pains. However, these minor symptoms quickly metastasize into much more serious afflictions, such as paresthesia, which is the feeling of pins and needles all throughout the legs, the development of meningitis, which is an infection that covers the spinal cord and into the brain, and then the development of paralysis, first beginning as a weakness in the arms and legs, which worsens into complete immobility. When these advanced stages of the virus occur, these terrible symptoms could lead to permanent disability for the rest of the infected's life, which might not be too long after the affliction of these symptoms. The Ebola virus. Although it is an incredibly rare virus to contract in the civilized world, Ebola still makes the list for one of the most incredibly dangerous diseases as it could easily spread and mutate into a pandemic-wide virus capable of taking out massive population centers. It only takes two days before the symptoms begin to worsen to a fatal state and treatment for the virus requires efforts to be made to locate the source of the virus to better understand its rapid mutations. These symptoms range from a fever to stomach pains to the progressive stages consisting of bleeding from the eyes, ears, nose and mouth and vomiting of the stomach lining that will slowly progress into total organ failure. Interestingly enough, the contraction of the virus is so easy, spreading from any kind of contact with the skin of the infected, that the ability for the virus to spread into an epidemic is more than just a possibility. It is history. Back in 2013, the West African Ebola virus epidemic claimed the lives of more than 30,000 individuals from around the world and spread so rapidly with many different outbreaks that it took more than three years before the epidemic was stopped. This consisted of individuals infected all throughout West Africa, as well as the infection spreading to first world countries such as the United Kingdom, the United States and different areas of the European Union. It could very well mean that one of the number one viruses to look out for in the future is the Ebola virus and its ability to potentially cause a world-ending pandemic if the right amount of resources are not put into stopping its efficient spread and infection rate. The Marburg virus First discovered back in 1967, originating in the German city of Marburg, from where it derives its name, the Marburg virus seems like a plot device from a horror movie rather than a real-world disease. Unfortunately, the existence of the disease is only half of the story. During the reign of the Soviet Union from 1988 to 1990, the country poured near limitless efforts into the development of biological warfare using the Marburg virus as one of the primary methods 
of a pandemic-causing supervirus. This transformed the virus from having a 23% fatality rate to a 90% fatality rate when contracted. The early symptoms of the virus include a severe headache, joint and muscle aches, and chills covering the body that makes the infected patient feel almost as if they are undergoing shock and subsequently dying. Shortly after these minor symptoms first occur, the virus goes into overdrive and develops a list of symptoms similar to that of late-stage Ebola with red spots forming all over the body, blood pouring from every orifice, including the eyes and mouth and mental declination that will force an infected patient to become incredibly violent and rampant. Information surrounding the experimental supervirus was only discovered after several laboratory accidents occurred in the Soviet Union during the production of the biological weapon that saw a 100% fatality rate of those infected in the accident. Given the fact that there appears to be no cure for the virus and no method of treatment even in the modern day, the Marburg virus could prove to be the most effective biological weapon ever manufactured. The H1N1 virus Originally called the swine flu, it was theorized and believed that the virus was spreading via pig to human contact given the fact that many who had first contracted the disease were around populations of domesticated pigs. But as the virus evolved, it quickly gained a new name given the fact that the virus itself no longer spread through swine but instead became similar to that of a seasonal flu. This led to a worldwide pandemic back in 2009 where people from all over the world were catching swine flu, which appeared to be a far more aggressive version of advanced influenza, with a mutation rate that made it a prime candidate of panic. Given the fact that there was no vaccine to prevent the illness at the time of its first appearance, it led to developments of lung problems and pneumonia that worsened asthmatic conditions, diabetic conditions, and had a death toll that affected those that otherwise would have seen no symptoms with the aid of a vaccine. This quickly led to worldwide efforts to prevent the spread and mutation of the disease, as well as the research required to create a vaccine capable of eradicating the viral infection from large population centers. Fortunately, the World Health Organization and the Center for Disease Control got ahead of the curve and prevented possibly one of the worst pandemics of the modern era. However, many do not believe we are out of the clear, as new mutations of the virus can easily form in the coming years given its seasonal appearance and large infectious rates of different populations from around the world. SARS coronavirus Known by its acronym SARS, the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus is a highly contagious and extremely fatal respiratory illness that first appeared in China around November of 2002. The respiratory virus upon infection can immediately cause an elevated fever and shortness of breath that begins to progressively worsen as time goes on, which led dry coughs that spread the disease far more efficiently than its predecessor, influenza. In fact, the SARS coronavirus is a strain of mutated influenza that has become efficient in its rate of infection and when it first appeared in 2002, it led to a large, fast-spreading pandemic originally projected to be a modern-day epidemic. Fortunately enough, after two years of combined international effort, the SARS coronavirus was completely contained. However, efforts to produce a working vaccine for the virus are still yet to be produced. This has allowed the disease enough time and victims to enhance its infectious abilities to now be able to infect via the air when someone with the disease coughs, sneezes or talks, and even through contaminated objects such as doorknobs, telephones and elevator buttons. Future projections of the SARS coronavirus are not looking good and it appears to be one of the only modern viruses still working to be contained and handled by international health organizations across the world. Avian flu Referred to more commonly as bird flu, avian influenza, though no longer a danger in the modern age, was responsible for one of the greatest epidemics in the history of mankind. Back in 1918, avian influenza spread worldwide for an entire year, with an estimated 500 million people becoming infected by the virus. Back during this time, the world population was only about 1.5 billion individuals, 
and so the infected population made up for more than one third of the total world population in the early 1900s. This led to bird flu being responsible for more than 50 million deaths worldwide and made a lasting impact on the world since its appearance. Though not much was understood about the viral outbreak and its origin, today, different variations of bird flu still exist and random outbreaks have popped up all around the world since then. Given the advancements in the modern age relative to science and medicine, however, it does not appear to be much of a threat in the coming years. But what do you all think of these deadly viruses and diseases and what could they mean for the safety of the future of humanity? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.